What in holy hell? I need more margaritas. We need more margaritas. The big blue whale. Yeah. Totally lost Mo. Again. Man, that's a hella drop. Maybe should have put elbow pads on. My arm. She's gonna have burritos all week. I found her as she is. You know what they say? What do they say? Oklahoma is okay. It's on their license plate, y'all. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pascal. Hey, Art of Adventure. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Lake Vion, Oklahoma. Is it Vion or Vion? Vion. Vion. That's what the person at the restaurant said anyway. So <laughs> that's what we're going with. So there's a really neat trail system here. It's not crazy long, but it has some crazy cool features. I'm really excited to take a look and uh, try this one out. Give it a shot. On the way to Benton Beal. Let's, Let's go. And we're ready. Step one, map it out. So we're, we're here. What's it? We're, we're at the parking lot right there. It's the road. So we want to come up here to get to the goods. Met a dude that said this is the way, so. I hope this is the way. Oh, there's the up arrow, so. Is this the right way to get to the top? Yeah. I was just at the top. How is it? Steve. <laughs> up, up, up. Interesting texture. That moment when you try to go to an easier gear than are none. <laughs> Shit. Okay. That is definitely steep. Yeah, that's that's what scares me, not the going down, but yeah. If you screw up a little bit, you're gonna find one of those boulders. Let's go under it and see what that feels like. Man, that's a hella drop. Hella drop. And it's, I mean, that's way higher than it looks from even up there. All right, baby steps. But not yet. Not yet. I don't know where we are, what's going on? Loose. Okay. Okay.
They all kind of blend together. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm probably the only person in these woods right now besides Pascal. So here I am in the woods again, alone. <laughs> That's okay. We always find each other. Totally lost Mo. <sighs> again. These trails are really confusing. But I haven't done this yet. Yeah. Soft rock. Rock and roll. That's late and scary. So crumbly. Will I or won't I? That is the question. So here is the big drop in question. And then you have a second drop. Oh, with big boulders in the middle. And that thing is so steep. So from the top, I mean, You have to watch, because you can't even tell, but some of those are pretty jaggy. It's not that flat. And then, oh yeah, when you're making that turn, it's an immediate left, or you go over that cliff. And there is no one here to show me how to do it. Jerks. Well, let's ride. Okay. Maybe should have put elbow pads on. Man, I punked out on that big drop. Maybe if someone like could show me. Hate that. So there's a few trails at the bottom of the little hill, but they're pretty much glorified walking paths. Not bad. So you can still get out here and get some miles because you're not going to get a lot of miles at the top. But it is what it is. Not bad, not bad. First time in Oklahoma. Something for everybody. So it was a little bit confusing. A little bit. I think if we did it a lot, we would figure it out. I think so. So the three main downhill trails are Forney's Eight, Doctor's Drop, and Rocker Roll. My best advice is follow all the signs to overlook and from there you can kind of find all three of those main downhill trails and that's where that crazy roller coaster thing yeah, yeah. is. That's pretty cool too. That I'm not even sure if it has a name yet or not. 
it was the, the return trail back up that seemed to be the most confusing where we kept missing each other. What? Where is where you're supposed to come down? Maybe if there was just one return trail that would make it easier somehow. Yeah, that probably would do it. So I'm not gonna lose any sleep over not dropping in on that roller coaster. Not one it just means we have to go back. It has definitely some uh, some consequences. Some consequences, that's it, a good word. Some consequences if you don't get the line just right. The city of Ion is just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we had a pretty good time in Tulsa. Yeah, Tulsa was fun. We stopped uh, on the historic Route 66. Yeah. We got a chance to see the Blue Whale, which is sort one of, of the one many of the attractions on Route 66. <laughs> it's an old attraction, but it's kind of worth putting your eyes on. We had yeah. fun playing around the yeah, park. Yeah, people still go. It's still, it's still wondrous, people. And if you're hungry, make sure you stop by Senior Ponchos. My burrito was the size of my arm, I mean, like the shit. length of my arm, and. Yeah. Fast. They laughed when she ordered it. Look at the comparisons to Moe's burrito. He, I think he had Tex-Mex envy on that one. And it was still filling, but hers was like a week worth of food. <laughs> oh yeah, the to-go box was more like a catering box. Yeah, it felt heavy. I thought it was cool. Yeah, I thought it was cool. It was cool. It was okay. Oklahoma <laughs> is okay. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. You're right there. Just hit that one little subscribe. Who's not subscribed? Who's not? Come on. We have a ton of great adventures on tap. There's That's a true. ton of great adventures already on there. Check the playlist. That's so true. Some good stuff on there. Some funny stuff, some good stuff, some informative stuff. Turns out he's kind of funny, y'all. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> we want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. Yeah. That's what art adventure is all about. Yes. All that's left for you to do. Go get it, y'all. Just go get it. Go get it. Come on. Now.